Presenting the Universal Aluminumatic Ladder. It lets you transform your attic from wasted space into a handy, usable storage area. This video outlines the five easy to follow steps required to install your aluminum ladder. Remove the packing material and instruction manual. Read and understand the printed installation instructions that cover the process in complete detail. Before you begin any work, be sure you have read them closely and understand them completely. The instructions also list the tools you will need. A carpenter square, a drill with a 1 8 inch and 9 30 seconds inch bit, a hammer, a hacksaw, a pencil, a step ladder, a tape measure, a 7 16 inch wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver, plus a few additional materials you must supply. Also, check to see that all parts listed in the instructions are there. And, make sure the wooden door panel is free of splits or warping, that the metal parts are not damaged, that all rivets are tight. If something isn't right, do not proceed with the installation. Contact your place of purchase or the Warner Company. To install the universal aluminumatic ladder yourself, you must have sawing, squaring, and aligning skills similar to those required to install a window or door frame. Don't try the installation if you aren't confident in those skills. Hire a professional instead. In addition, you must have two people capable of lifting the ladder assembly into place. It weighs 40 pounds. The ladder is made for ceiling 7 feet 8 inches to 10 feet 3 inches high. It is unsafe to install this ladder in any ceiling outside that range. Also, you must have a rough opening in the ceiling measuring 22 and a half inches by 54 inches or extra wide 25 inches by 54 inches. If you do not, refer to Appendix Section 1-1 in the instructions. Here are the steps you must follow to install the universal aluminum attic ladder. The first step is to prepare the existing opening. Remove old trim and hardware around the opening and double check to make sure the opening measures 22 and a half inches by 54 inches or for extra wide openings 25 inches by 54 inches. See the instructions appendix if it does not. Be sure all sides are flat, plumb, and also in good repair. Next attach temporary support boards. The ladder must be temporarily supported with 1 by 4 by 32 inch boards that extend across each end of the opening. For safety, the boards must be positioned properly and fastened securely. Use three deck screws on each. The first support board goes 3 eighths of an inch from the inside edge of header A, where the ladder hinge will go. Then, measure from the inside edge of the first support board 52 and a half inches to mark where the inside edge of the second board will go. Fasten it securely with three deck screws. Make sure all six screws penetrate the header so the support boards are firmly secure. The first step is complete. Next, you will place the ladder into the prepared opening. Do not remove the nylon tie holding the sections together until the ladder has been completely installed and secured. First, attach the pull cord through the pre-drilled hole in the door and tie it to the washer. Raise the ladder into the rough opening, turning it at an angle to clear the temporary support boards. Position the ladder so it rests securely on the temporary support boards. Slide the ladder so that the hinged end of the wood frame is resting tightly against the header with the ladder hinge. Header A. Do not place any weight on the ladder until it is fully installed. Next, you will square the ladder in the opening. Center the hinged end on the header A. Drive two screws to hold the frame to the header. Screws go through the wood frame only. Open the ladder door by pulling straight down on the pull rope. The ladder sections will remain folded and secured by the nylon ties. Next, carefully measure the two diagonal dimensions of the opening. If they are within one-eighth of an inch of each other, the opening is square. If they aren't, shim the frame at the corners. If the frame isn't correctly squared, the ladder might not close properly. Drive two screws to hold the shims in place. Now that the ladder has been properly placed, 
The next step is to mount it permanently. First, secure the ladder in the rough opening. To do this, pre-drill four one-eighth inch pilot holes and install four one-quarter by two inch hex head lag screws into header A, the header with the hinge. Use one-quarter inch washers under the screw heads. If necessary, shim behind the mounting plates. Then pre-drill two one-eighth inch pilot holes and install two one-quarter inch by two inch hex head lag screws with washers into the mounting plates. Next, pre-drill four one-eighth inch pilot holes as shown in the instructions and install four hex head lag screws with washers under the screw heads. Make sure the door closes without interference. Readjust shims if necessary. For safety, trim any shims that stick out above the frame. Next, remove the temporary support boards. The ladder is now permanently secured into the opening. The next step is setting the proper height for the ladder. First, measure the height from the bottom of the wood frame to the floor. Make sure the ladder is unextended but fully open. Table 1, on page 9 of the instructions, shows how much you must cut off for the optimum safe installation. To trim the lower section, first remove the nylon tie. Fold the lower section under the middle section. Measure the required cutoff distance. With a hacksaw, cut off the excess. Then unfold the lower section to the open position. The final step in installing your universal aluminum attic ladder is attaching the feet. Be sure the ladder sections are fully extended and that the support arms are fully open. Apply even pressure to check. Place the foot over the side rail and slide it downward until the rubber foot pad rests firmly on the floor. Apply light pressure. Mark the location to drill the hole through the side rail using one of the pre-drilled holes on the foot as a template. Drill a 9 30 seconds inch hole through the rail. Install the adjustable foot Tighten with the one quarter inch hex head cap screw and lock nut. Repeat with the other side. At this point, the hinges in the ladder should have no gaps and the feet should be flush on the floor. If they are not properly adjusted, serious injury could result. That's all it takes to install your universal aluminumatic ladder. Once you do, you will have handy, easy access to your attic for any storage need.